Hi everybody, this is Brian James from Rhino3D.com and in this video I'd like to share with you one of my favorite workflows in Rhino 8. Here we have a low poly scan of an armchair. This mesh has a number of issues including holes and self-intersecting topology. I'd like to end up with a closed solid poly surface and I'll start in the front view. I'll draw a line with the polyline command and I'll hold down shift to keep the line straight I'll go into the Mesh Tools and select the Mesh Split command. I have the Create Engons option set to No. I'll select the Mesh to Split, and the cutting object will be that line. I'll select the part of the result that I care about, and then use the Invert command, followed by Delete, to remove everything I don't need. Next, I'll go into the Mesh Tools again and use Shrink Wrap. I'll enable Preview as well as Hide Input Objects. The Fill Mesh Holes option will fill any holes in the input objects, and the Target Edge Length will allow us to capture more detail from the input, the smaller this number is. I'll choose Delete Input Objects and click OK. Now if you wanted to 3D print this model, you're done. You could select this mesh and export it as an STL file but I'd like to go one step further by using the quad remesh command in the sub D tools. Quad remesh will create an all quad mesh. You can specify a target number of quads. I'll click preview as well as hide input objects. I'll also use this convert to sub D option to create a subdivision surface from the quad mesh. The symmetry axis option is also useful here. The central line will be defined parallel to the y-axis in the world space and an edge loop will be created in the sub D. I'll choose delete input objects so we have just this sub D surface left. The final step is to use the two NURBS command. The two NURBS command has a delete input option so that we're left just with this closed solid poly surface. If I enable ISO curves for my display mode, you can see the density of the NURB surfaces that result. Anywhere we had more than four edges intersecting, the two NURBS command will not pack those into a single surface, but anywhere that you had a clean flow of quads, that will be one single surface in the poly surface. And with this closed solid, we can merge in or subtract other solids in the scene. Here I have a group of five poly surfaces. I'll use the align command with the concentric option to align both of these to zero. I'll then move back the armchair poly surface so that it's intersecting the legs. And I'll finish with the Boolean union command to merge them into one closed solid poly surface. In some circles, you might call this workflow reverse engineering, but in Rhino 8, I call it the secret sauce. Thanks for watching.